Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Matthias Carl looking at Double X. X. Everything's exciting when it has an X. Yes. We love it. It's right. extreme. Yes. Uh, in that case, not. It's uh, it's about the uh, the multiplication, so to say. That's why the X is in there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, X that's multiple uses. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We have here um, double double X. Uh, that's uh, um, a dice a dice game with um, a betting uh, mechanism. Okay. Uh, what you do is for the first round, um, let's say, let's pretend we are three players. We take um, these dice. Um, I just pretend that I'm three people here. Okay. Uh, when we start, we throw. Um, everyone has one dice. The active player has. Let's say it is the active player. The active player now is would be the red one, has uh, the, the neutral one and his red um, okay. dice. At the beginning, everyone throws in their dice. Let's pretend it was like this, and. Um, you can see now the, these multiplication factors on the board, and it says that um, the passive players that have started now would get um, always the better results. So therefore, three times two, he would get six points. So he would take uh, chips uh, with a worth of uh, six, okay. and the blue one would take three times one, so three ch uh, three chips, and. Um, the red player would get two. He doesn't get anything for the X. Hmm. That's a pity. Okay. But um, now, let's say the uh, the active the other active player would be now the blue one. He takes now the neutral dice as well. The other two stay there, which is good because these, especially for the green player, it's a good result. And so he will continue to get those points when the game continues now. Okay. And um, so. Nice. Hmm? Unless, Unless the blue player is doing coming. well yeah. and um, maybe finds a way to kick the other um, dice off the board, um, so and it's always allowed to uh, to turn over the board a bit. So because once you're in one of those uh, black holes here, um, you're out. And of course, I want to try that. So um, at, there's always the rule that you cannot. Uh, move your um, hand over that um, board. Uh, it says specifically in the rule that uh, there are laser beams that will cut off your hand. <laughs> it really mentioned that in the, in the rule. Okay. And um, with a nice picture of a cut off hand. And um, <laughs> so it's, I want to try that. That's good. Yes. Well, oh. no, at least one got in the box. Unfortunately, it was the one of the active player, so he doesn't get any points. But at least for the neutral one, he gets now um, the better results, so one, two, uh, two times, or so two uh, chips. Okay. The other one still continue the, to get those um, chips for the spaces they have here. Um, so again, six points and two points. Okay. So that's how the game continues. Um, that one, uh, the blue one, is now out, but he can use here now those betting fields out here. Um, we start with that one, for example. Um, he can decide because until his, his turn, he needs to decide which um, uh, that his dice needs to be placed on one of those fields here. He can go here, which means uh, unless there is a, um, at least a double X um, on the board, he gets five coins. Okay. If someone rolls on the two times field, that can be the active player. So that can be the neutral one or also the uh, the, the dice uh, the die from the active player. He gets three uh, chips. Then for the large blue field, it's just one chip. And here it means it's the black hole. So if at least one die falls in the black holes, you get two. So you you kind of um, betting on the on the failure of the other people, depending on what kind of kind of people you play. <laughs> so he would uh, bet here, and the others one, uh, others two. I mean, the game is for up to eight players, so obviously the people um, are always involved in the game because uh, your die is just staying on the field as long that, as uh, possible. Yeah, and you, you just just have to check if you get the, your, your chips, or otherwise um, you will betting on the on the on, on the on the win or on the, on the success or the failure of the other players. Then the game is called Double X because of those double X's. Because once there are, I mean, a person who has an X on the field, for example, the, the yellow player, would get now no points because it's uh, one times nothing. Mm -hmm. So that's nothing. But it stays on here. So he doesn't get anything. So he just has to hope that at least another X will be rolled or even more than one X is rolled on the field, which would be good because then it's a double X. Double X means that the people with an X get points, all the others do get nothing. Um, so, right. so in that case, the uh, the pink and the yellow um, player would get uh, ten coins, but all the others would get nothing at all. Afterwards, and the X's stay. Or, no, sorry. then afterwards the X's will be removed. So that's also good because you get your ten coins and you're finally back in the game and can bet or roll again. And um, that's basically it for that version because the game is very variable. But these are the basic rules. But what you can also do, for example, uh -huh. you can. Turn around that board. That's the one. Uh, that's a one that's a bit, a little bit harder. But you could also that or that. 
which even has a little spinner on there. And, um, and now you can actually kind of try to um, move, shoot, uh, move there. them out from here. It's essentially always the same game. These ones are a bit more difficult, so to say, because now there are some more negative elements. For example, here you can see that you would lose uh, a coin. Uh, when your uh, dice, uh, when your die is on there, or that you would get uh, no coins uh, at all, and so on. Okay. But um, in general, that's just a different version. So that's Double X. Thank you, Matthias, for the overview. Double X.